denim comes off the actual spool, it looks like this. It's a very retro Americana. I've got with me Lady Reese, Hello. who's a denim expert. She's an expert on jeans. We're at Blue's Jean Bar. And guess what? We're looking for jeans for Vin Vin. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the man. I always feel like denim is one of the hardest things to buy. It is, you're right. Denim is so hard to buy. But we have 40 brands for men and women. Um, and then within those brands, we have multiple styles per brand. So do the math. There's lots and lots of jeans here. How's it going in there, Vin Vin? It's better. Oh, I do like this. These are great. Ladies? They're very fashion forward. So that's why I think you like them. They're also very dark. I am not wearing jeans. Get in there. Start trying. Do I have to do that? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> Bye. And a lot of people compare denim to shopping for bathing suits. There are so many styles and brands, and it really helps to have someone help you weed through the process. I need my wife. <laughs> I am nothing without her. Is it as hard for men to find jeans as it is for women? It is. Men, you know, they don't shop very often. So when they do shop, they want to buy maybe three to four pair, where women are just looking for one. Mm -hmm. So with men, we have to find three or four pair that fit their body type that are all different and really satisfy them for at least six months or so, so we can send them on their way. Would you be open if any of our viewers sent in a message? Of course. To maybe give them some one-on-one -on -one advice? Of course, of course, yes. Okay. Oh, I have questions about jeans. I buy them, I feel like they fit. And then basically by the time I get home and I've worn them once or twice, it becomes clear that I bought a size that's too big. Hi, Rachel. Um, actually, you're right. You should buy jeans that are definitely a size or two too small in the store because jeans do stretch a half size to a full size. Hi, Sukjeet and Lady Reese. I have a hard time finding jeans that fit me because there seems to be a trend of skinny jeans. So I never fit into the skinny jeans. Maybe they fit my legs, but they just don't fit around my bum. Hi, Giselle. Um, to answer your question, uh, I would not wear skinny jeans. Most people don't. That's not atypical that they don't fit you at all. I'm at a loss for jeans, so maybe you can help. The jeans I would try on for your body type are the Joe's Honey, as well as the AG Club. Those are both jeans that really are great for those of us that are voluptuous. Jeans that have a thicker waistband tend to, you know, have a little bit more room in the tush and also lay against our thinner waist a little bit better. Enjoy your jean fitting process and let us know if you have any other questions. So as you can see, they're a little bit long. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Just a little bit. So all designer denim come in a standard inseam of 34 inches. What do you not like about them? This white uh, and blue. It seems that there the is a contrast. kind of problem. T too much of a contrast yeah, in color. Too much. Let's right. find another one. Let's, try, let's try another pair. Okay. okay. What jeans are you wearing? All I know is it's the same pair of jeans that I've worn every day for about three months. Every once in a while, my wife takes them away from me and she hides them and washes them and then she brings them back and they don't feel right. We really encourage people not to wash their jeans um, if they're not really dirty. So you want to be able to wear your jeans, have them fit um, relatively well for those times you wear them before you wash them again and they get back to that original size. Do you wear designer jeans, Levi's? I have a unicorn on my ass. <laughs> Are you wearing fancy designer jeans like Kathy? $200 jeans. I must admit, I do pay $200 for jeans. Uh, right now I'm wearing a pair of $200 jeans, as a matter of fact. Do I really need to spend $200 for jeans, or can I still get something that fits well for a reasonable price? You know, I think that the price really comes down to what we call cost per wear. You buy one really great pair of jeans that's well made and high quality, and you break it down to the days you'll wear it over time, that might be a dollar a day for 200 days. I want to know the three tips to finding the perfect pair of jeans. I think the first tip is having patience. The average person tries on, I think, about 15 pairs of jeans before they find the right pair of jeans. The second is be willing to take advice. Oftentimes we tell people jeans are very, very snug. You want to leave the store that way, which is very uncomfortable for a lot of people. And I think the third thing is be open to all different washes and styles and be willing to try on all sorts of jeans. I have two jeans. I've never tried 
Yippee. Yeah, totally. Brrr, yeah. Right, right, right. I'm about to ring Vin Vin up for the two fabulous jeans that he's purchasing. Yes. A little raw Ernest Sohn jean boot cut and our standard by seven, really soft, the sweatpant jean. It's my personal money. 